Hey friends, don't be scared. We have some scary things going on. <laughs> I know it's not Halloween, but our angel sent me this and it was pirate inspired. There's our hmm, hi Captain Jack Sparrow and uh, she also several months ago sent me some sugar skulls uh, fabric. So I kind of decided to do a combo here. And you'll see what I mean when I, when I show these journals to you. They were just a lot of fun. I like Halloween. Halloween has really good memories attached to it for me because my dad, my brother, and my favoriteest uncle in the whole wide world ran a haunted house. Um, in my hometown the month of October and it was so much fun they called it the haunted mill and they rented out a space and it was terrifying and people would just be lined up to come and see the haunted mill and it was one of those times when my dad my brother and my uncle you saw them all in one place, all working together, all having fun. It, Halloween just has really good memories for me. I know that's kind of weird. People say, oh, well, Christmas has great memories for, you, for me. And, you know, that's fine. Whatever holiday rings your bell, that's, that's the thing. This journal is big, for one thing. Um, it is ten and a half... Hold on, it is six by eight by two and a half by, I'm thinking this is probably three when it's not stretchy stringed together. It's finished off with um, these sweet little skulls, which I thought were super neato. Uh, some shiny um, metallic beads. We've got glass beads here. We've got check beads here. It is just like a fabulous bead strand. If I must say so myself, it was crazy fun to put together. Let's take a peek inside Sugar Skulls. Sugar Skulls is, clo the closure on it is 3-1, which of course is Halloween. So we kind of took our themes and we sort of made them a little different. And I think you'll see what I mean here. We're starting off with a sweet Chris Angel um, Jack of Hearts vintage playing card. I thought, I thought that was really a fun, fun idea to put in here. The pockets and some of the papers in these signatures are, um, they're jelly prints. So a lot of this stuff is jelly prints. This, this little book, well not big, little book, big book, has been on my shelf waiting for paper for kind of like ever. And I got some paper from Miss Nancy, and I was like, oh my goodness, that is the exact paper that I need to finish Sugar Skulls. So we've got a skull in a top hat here. We've got a little bit of a sticker for you, a skinny book. And of course, this is our inspiration signature, but it is kind of, um, we've got a little bit of ghost for you, and then we've got inspiration. I thought the color orange would be so funny in here because you know who is a color orange the um, the the paper that we've been using about how to wrap a perfect gift and that can be construed in many ways right how do you wrap a perfect coffin you know lots of fun 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 uh, things to think about in this journal we've got our papers for you we've got 140 pound water paper watercolor paper I've got some canvas paper for you to play with some tracing paper transparencies as well as napkins and uh, some tissue paper to play with deli-ish tissue paper this is a Take 5 art project. This is an ATC. And under here we have some bristle boards. So lots of textures, lots of papers for you to experiment around and play with. Goblin Grog, sweet and succulent, on a, um, on a little paper that has owls on it. This is Tim Holt's grunge board. Thought that was super cool. We've got an owl right here, Wolf's Bane. So you can see that I just kind of took, you know, the book and then kind of took our current signatures and kind of 
made them into Halloween and scary and that kind of thing. Not that Halloween is really scary. Not for me, anyway. Like I said, it's a sweet memory. All the great stories have witches in them. <laughs> this one says just buried instead of just married. Sorry, I bumped my camera. A little mouse on a bookcase. I love that one. Our diction, our vintage dictionary, our vintage law dictionary, a little bit of French dictionary for you. Need a broom room. I love that. And some more about books right here. This says a happy birthday to my husband. These are our vintage cards from the Nielsen collection. To a champion dad, you're a knockout. And I love this signature here because I love to look back this far. Uh, 1870, Mr. Lovejoy paid his taxes to the state of Maine. Of 1876, Three Musketeers, 1836. Um, this is... Uh, I'm sorry, I just went outside and I stepped in ants, so I feel like ants are crawling all over me. Even though I have washed my hands ten times and put sanitizer on them and alcohol. <laughs> so we've got vintage papers for you. These cards are so cute. This one is signed Oscar 1949. Now we know that Oscar was a small child in 1949, so his mom, Kath, probably do this, uh, drew this sweet little uh, Oscar dog for Oscar. Uh, the other card is signed Kath, 1949, and we know she was Kath and not Kathy. Uh, Crow on some books. Awesome. More Halloween elements for you to play with. I think this is a Martha Stewart piece, Fire, Burn, and Cauldron Bubble. Fun. A little bit of spider webs for you on the back here. Like I said, all of these papers are uh, my first attempt at jelly printing, and I love it. I cannot wait for the weather to dry up so I can do some more jelly printing. I think it is really fun. This little thing says Boo, which is Bubbly Brew, is right here. These are the papers that Nancy sent that I'm crazy about. I mean, I love black. Um... I love black and gray. I really did like the paper that was in the little, um, in the starter flow journals that I did that was black and gray and then had a pop of pink on it. I think that's really neat. When my little boy was like five years old and in kindergarten, <laughs> they were talking about their favorite colors and his favorite color was black. And it pretty much was black for a very long time so I walked into his class and I saw all these kids you know they're my favorite color is yellow orange red pink purple Corey had colored this giant black mass and his was black because that's what he liked <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, we got a really big kick out of that. Uh, these are some magazine pages from a um, from a uh, decorating magazine for Halloween. I love these. Love the pumpkins. More of that paper. Man, I really like that paper. I thought this room had a very haunted appearance. This is from the 1988 Colonial Homes magazine. That chandelier is just kind of eerie looking. Very kind of odd. Um, this was from, again, I think the 1988 Colonial Living magazine. And this was quite a fancy thing here, y'all. That We have some wine here. We have... Um, it looks like a piece of salmon, some rice, and broccoli. I'm sure that was quite a fancy, fancy meal then. Uh, some advertising ephemera for you, spider webs, inky papers. Cannot wait to get back downstairs. Again, this room just kind of looked eerie with its candelabras and its mirrors. It just had like this weird, eerie look. Poison right here. These are labels. These are stickers that you can put on your um, potion bottles if you have such things. Just an interesting book. This is, uh, I believe this is Rapunzel from the, uh, from the fairy tale. The, this is packing tape, a, ba a bat up here. More of the tonic sticker, a sweet little witch's hat. 
If you're going to be cooking, you might want some pure concentrated extract of mosquito sting and some pure concentrated snake scale. So I put those in here. Breast of chicken is our recipe. This is our vintage recipe. Recipes are from the 50s and they are typewritten and are super neat. Eat, drink, and be scary. I forgot who sent this to me, but I love it and I just thought it was just the coolest thing ever and it just fit perfectly in this little book. Of course, if we're going to talk Halloween, we gotta talk candy, y'all. This is from a 1953 cookbook, 250 Ways to Make Candy, uh, the Encyclopedia of Cooking right here, um, Pear Ambrosia, Pear a la Barana, Baroness, uh, a little bit about pumpkin soil right here, how to grow pumpkins. This is a little trick-or-treat element with a little book right here for you, also featuring this sugar skull. This is about renting a haunted mansion, in case you're interested in such a thing. When I was in Venice, there was a tour about haunted Venice, and it was very curious. I also think that I told you guys, and I will have to dig up that photograph, that we toured the Doji's Palace, and we toured the dungeons, and I took a very interesting photograph in one of the dungeon spaces, and it is a disturbed photograph. It is super neato. I have never gotten a disturbed photograph before, so I was quite excited about it. This is from the Metropolitan Life Cookbook. I think that was 1948, I do believe. So it's just a lot of vintage recipes for you to play around with. Um, don't put Eye of Newt in your recipes or crow beak extract. Another little fun skull to just have, have fun with. Um, vintage playing card over here. I thought these were kind of creepy looking because of the black background. You know, this is, uh, I used metal tape to create a little element that says boo. A skinny book here for you in orange, of course. More papers to play with. This is a little bit of fashion. I think I would love to have a cape like that. I think that is super keen. And, of course, the bead book that we've been working with. And then look at our, look at our fashion element. Now, she is super neat, y'all. Lots of fun things. Here's a nice big hunk of fabric for you to play with right here. Sparkly papers. Designer pumpkins. Oh my gosh, lions and tigers and bears. This is a, uh, this is a little um, plastic bag that has a sugar skull on it that's filled with elements for you to play with. So you've got some black flowers in there. You've got some maps, some paper, some painty paper, some fabric scraps. These are big, bur this is burlap with black lace. This is uh, velvet with rubber lace on it. And I've got some spiders in here on some uh, white lacy fabric. These are, um, these are the, the kinds of ribbons that you would use to make wreaths. So they've, they've got a, you know, they've got that little wire in there that bends. So we will have sugar skulls in the, um, in the store a little bit later on this afternoon. It's Sunday, by the way. Um, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you it was Sunday. I had a massive big journaling. Uh, <laughs> I've been doing nothing but making journals like since Wednesday. Um, my big festival uh, that was supposed to be yesterday canceled. And I also had another project that canceled. So I was like, wow, okay, well, then I need to be making some journals, y'all. This is, of course, our uh, Pirates of the Caribbean theme journal. Again, the shiny metal elements. We've got some metal, uh, these metallic-ish kind of beads on here. But these are plastic beads. I think they call them etched beads, but they're super cool. Uh, glass beads on here, and of course, the two little skulls right there. I loved the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie. I was not crazy about the rest of them, but I totally fell in love with the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie. So much so that it was released the year I turned 50, so that was 2008, and my boyfriend had his, was I 40? No, I was 50, okay. Yeah, I was 50. Um, 
math, me, we don't get along. Um, but he did a Pirates of the Caribbean birthday party for me. <laughs> I'm funny. I can't help it. I don't think I'm ever going to grow up. Oh, man, I love these skeletons. are so creepy cool. Look at him. I love his cape and his top hat. Reminds me of Barnabas Collins and... Um, Oh, Dark Shadows. Oh, my gosh. I used to rush home from school so I could watch Dark Shadows on TV. A little bit of ghostly paper for you. A kitty cat on some, uh, let's say those are uh, witchy recipe books. We'll, we'll call it that. A smattering of different kinds of paper for you to play with. Tracing paper, tissue, uh, a little bit of deli-ish kind of paper, some watercolor paper. Um, these are stickers. They say Dream, Hope, and the Sweet Life. An orange card. You know, what is an orange personality? i got to go online and figure that out. More inspiration for, me, for you. Uh, this is, um, I love this. This is like bats and little skeleton doggies right here. Spinal touches. <laughs> that is so cool. This is a mermaid hair right here. Love that. Uh, a owl. The Daily Curse, which is the daily newspaper. Another packet of, of things for you to play with. Inky papers, painty papers. Look at this. It's got little, like, uh, they're, they're like mini, they're mice. And they're playing on this typewriter here. Skeleton mice. <laughs> This is the, uh, the, the Vintage Dictionary, the Vintage Law Dictionary, and a French Dictionary for you. I love him. I want him to be my manservant. Uh, this is from 1988, uh, paying taxes, and it's signed James Archibald. A little bit of salvage script for you. We love our salvage script. How cool to find a galleon you know, a pirate is ship uh, in our vintage card, y'all, with love for grandson on his birthday. This one is signed from Grandma. It also contained a note that said, Dear Georgie, use this for fun, fun, fun. Now, I have to tell you, I found $3 in this little envelope, but I sent it back to our angel because I, I wasn't sure. I was like, well, you know, I found $3 in this envelope and she was like huh she said well these are from you know like the 40s and the 50s you know let's see what you know let's see if we have anything special it turned out it wasn't anything special but it was kind of fun so Georgie did not have fun 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 with his three dollars it ended up in uh in our hands which is kind of funny got some Tim Holtz scrunch board here for you favorite tombstones this is from uh Farmer's Almanac very funny and we have the rest of the receipt right here. Isn't that pretty? Recorded. Record. Can't, can't really read that. My glasses aren't quite focused today. But this is Attorney at Law, Monticello, Maine. Macabre Mysteries. I thought that this postcard was just creepy with its little uh, moon, its, its full moon looking out. This is from the... Um, this is a vintage postcard. I'm not sure about the date, y'all. I think it's probably 1993. It's super cool. Blood, sweat, and tears. This is really resonating with me right now. Blood, sweat, and tears. Uh, a sweet little home decor. Now, imagine yourself dressing up like this and serving some martinis. I love this arrangement. You know, we just made the uh, royal wedding uh, bunting, and this is bunting for your uh, for your mantle. Love the crow as well. We got a boo and a skeleton up here. You know, creepy music. Uh, look at that. Isn't that neat? <laughs> every year we do our yard, and every year we have few and fewer trick-or-treaters. So one of these days we probably will not do that anymore and I tell you y'all that's going to be a sad day because I just do love me some little trick-or-treaters. I think we're on our last signature now. This is uh, Cook 
uh, Yankee pot roast. Don't poison the Yankee pot roast. Your uh, your your serving pieces, your plates. <laughs> Love them. I think that if you are a ghost or if you are a skeleton, you're going to have a lot of leftovers. So I thought that this was really appropriate in here. This is our 1953-1948 smattering of recipes. Really cool. These are apothecary bottles. Some of them have a nice X and a skull and crossbones on them. Very sweet paper. I like that a whole lot. And uh-oh. She jumped out. Let's put her back in. Don't jump out, baby. She's scared. Here you go. You hang out with Mr. Owl. It's it's okay. It's all in fun. Have a little sticker for you. Sooth sayings. I love that. This is a shell. I thought that would be appropriate since we're talking pirates and pirate boats and pirate ships and Johnny Depp and Johnny Depp and Johnny Depp. A little wooden key for you to alter. Some sweet ribbon to play with. Um, psychic. Uh, when I lived in Columbia, South Carolina, my little fella called the local psychic because you had to go by her house to get to my house. And he would go, oh, look, Mama, it's the psychotic. And I was like, yes, it's the psychotic. <laughs> <laughs> I love those gloves, y'all. I went to get some of these for the winter time. We'll do our videos wearing these. Super neat. Oh my goodness, so cool. Werewolves and lions and tigers and bears and scary stuff. I love it. It's so much fun. And we got a vintage playing card here for you. More of the funky ribbons, some black burlap, and some more burlap with black lace. I will have these fun books in the store a little later on today. And I just got it to, I know that y'all can tell that I just had a blast doing them. And I know that you will have a blast playing with all of the ephemera and fun Halloween items inside the books. Thank y'all for listening, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.